Welcome to the red room. Oh, did you keep, you can't even see it. I changed my, I changed my lights to, god damn it. So recently Barry's put out an at-home workout that you can do from the comfort of your own home. So I decided that I had to try it. If you have watched this video right up here, you know that I really am not a huge fan of Barry's Boot Camp simply because of the vibe, the instruction, even though their programming is absolutely phenomenal, but I have just never been a Barry's person because it feels so cold to me. So I wanted to see if that translated into their home workout program. So today we're diving in. So the first thing I wanna talk about is just the instruction. I took class with Amanda, I think. She was fantastic. She was so warm. She gave a lot of personal attention throughout. She used people's names. And to be honest, this was something that I have never experienced in a Barry's boot camp workout before. So I thought it was interesting that there was actually much more individualized attention via a Zoom workout than there is in person. All of her cueing was very clear, very personable. She had a lot of energy. Um, the only thing I would say was that I could have used personally like a little bit more why. That's a big thing that I look for in classes, like just the why behind it all. Why are we doing things? Why am I here at nine in the morning working with bands? Why bands instead of weights? You know what I mean? Like just things like that, I would have loved to hear a little bit more about, but overall I thought the instruction was fantastic. So moving on to the background, which you can see mine is like, I, I tried to get rid of my shoe rack, but I'll, the stuff on the floor, it's terrible. So. <laughs> the background. It was very clear, very white. Um, she had like two plants on either side and that was great. You know, she was wearing darker colors and we could see her very well. But the issue was I would never know that was a Barry's boot camp workout by looking at it. And I think that because there is so much on the internet now, you do still want to differentiate like this is Barry's. So they have the money. Like if I was the owner, I would have sent every online instructor a red mat, tell them to wear black. I don't know. Like that would have been enough for me, but it nothing about it read this is a Barry's boot camp workout. I don't even know if they ever said Barry's boot camp once during the workout. So I think that the branding of the entire thing could have been a little bit more clear. And that is getting nitpicky, but like her background was great as far as it was clear, concise, very simple. So I did like that, but I, I just felt like it was missing like, like the red room. It wasn't the red room. And I feel like that's what they're marketing, bringing the red room to your home. I'm really mad because on class pass, they literally had a big thing on the home screen that said bring the red room home with you and now it's gone and I'm also mad because I'm stuck in quarantine until May 15th and I just found out it's going well everybody and then it was bright and white and really friendly and fun and I loved that but that was not berries now we're getting into the content of the workout it was Fantastic. I mean, here's the deal. Barry's like, they know what they're doing when they're programming. I think that a lot of other studios that have kind of the national following that they do, do not have great programming. But Barry's, in my opinion, is like number one for their programming. So we did a, it was a, it was a band's day. It was back and chest and arms and abs or something. I don't really know what I took. It's fine. So something that I've always loved about Barry's is that even though they do not promote themselves as like a functional training facility, a lot of their programming is very, very functional, which I really appreciate because that's my preferred way of training. So if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, you may have never heard of this before, but functional training is essentially a way of training for your everyday life. Now there's a lot of different elements that go into that. I have a lot of other videos that go a little bit more in depth into what functional training is, but I'll just give you the breakdown of some of the functional aspects that I really loved that I saw within the workout. So within the workout, we hit all planes of motion. We do have three planes of motion, our sagittal plane working front to back, frontal plane working side to side, and then transverse plane working in this twisting motion. All of them are really important to incorporate into your training because we move in 360 degrees in everyday life. So we wanna train that way. Remember, functional training is just training for your daily life. We also worked the muscles from a lot of different angles. So one that I can specifically think of, we were doing our bent over rows with the cables. She had the palms facing us, and then she had us go to a supinated grip or underhand, so your palm is up. And that's gonna hit a 
little bit different of a muscle while still working your back. There was just a lot of variety in the angle of our movement that's gonna hit a slightly different part of the muscle, which again, in my opinion, is a very functional way to train so that we are not just strengthening one specific part of the muscle, we are strengthening the entirety of it. Something else that was awesome was how much we were incorporating different tempos. Pretty much in every single exercise, we were working like at a slow tempo, and then we were working eccentrically, and then we were just working really quickly. So the word you might not know in there is eccentric. It's just a really fancy term for the lengthening of a muscle. So let's give the basic example as a bicep curl. If you are curling the weight up, that is the concentric or the shortening of the bicep. If you're holding it right here, that is the isometric. So that means that there's just constant tension on the muscle. And then if you are going eccentric, that is the lengthening or the lowering down in a bicep curl. So that's a really great simple example to understand. So if you are working the eccentric, typically you are really overemphasizing the lengthening or the negative, we call it. That's really important to train because it's really great in helping to prevent injury. It is great for producing power in the body. And if you are looking to see like actual muscle growth, it's gonna be the most damaging or really just lend itself to the most muscle tear like in a good way so that it can rebuild and then get bigger. As far as working fast and slow, we're just gonna leave it at this for this video because I do have a whole functional training video coming out and I don't wanna give too much away, but you know, it goes back to that same idea. We move fast and slow in everyday life, so. We'll leave it at that for today. And then finally, something else that I loved within the content or the bulk of the programming were how many combinations we had. For example, in our in our warm up, we were doing a sit up with like a chest opener with a shoulder retraction to a hamstring stretch and back down. And I just think this is such a smart way to program, again, because we typically don't just do one movement pattern in everyday life. Typically, we are doing many movement patterns together. So this works really great with coordination. It is great for your mind-body connection. And again, it's just going to help you function better in everyday life. All right, so I know this is why everyone clicked on the video because I usually have big opinions on things. What did I not like? Honestly, I didn't dislike very much. I loved the warm up except for how it started. We started with jumping jacks, which why? I'm a really big proponent of making sure that warm ups are very specific. So specific warm ups to what you're going to be working. So if we're working a back I don't, I don't really remember what the day was, but it was upper body. Why are we gonna start with jumping jacks? I mean, yeah, like you're bringing the arms up above the head, but I, if I was gonna put jumping jacks into a warm up, I would do it last. I would do it just like to get the heart rate up a little bit after a lot of shoulder retraction. Because a lot of times with jumping jacks, you see people like hiking their shoulders up and it's terrible. So why are you gonna start with that? Literally when it happened, I was like, oh no. This is gonna be all jumping for the warm up. And then it quickly became very, very specific. So I don't know if that was just like, oh, let's, let's get it moving, let's do jumping jacks. Cause you know, we've all been there where we're like, I don't know what to do. So that was just something I didn't like. As far as the abdominal work, again, big opinions on that. I did actually like it. I guess if we're getting like super nitpicky, I'm not a big fan of crunching motions. I don't know. It wasn't like excess crunching. I was fine with it. I, I, I didn't hate it. You know, we already talked about the fact that it did not feel like the red room, even a little bit, like not at all. It was not a red room. There was nothing even red in the room. So the branding was pretty terrible, but not that I really love Barry's branding or vibe in the first place, so I didn't really care. Then the only other thing that I thought was a little off was how many credits it was on ClassPass. I did reserve on ClassPass because I had 10 credits laying in my account and I was just like, and just get rid of these. And also, if you've watched this video right up here, you know my opinions on ClassPass, when to use it. Barry's is an international brand. Yeah, they're probably like suffering a little bit right now, but they're fine. <laughs> they got money. So I had 10 credits to get rid of, and I was like, oh, this should cover it. It's an online workout. It was 11 credits, so I had to buy another credit. That's a lot of money for an at, not the $1.75 that I spent, but like that many credits, that's a lot for an at-home workout. Now granted, it was like half the cost of what the credits usually are when you go in person, which I also think is super inflated, but 
whatever. So those are my thoughts on the Berries at Home Red Room experience. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried it yet. I know they just started launching this, so if you are like a Berries fan, definitely do not expect the Red Room, but you can expect really quality programming as always. So let me know if there's any other at home programs that you guys want me to try out, if there's anything you wanna see. I moved into the bedroom for this one because I cannot look at another video of my freaking living room. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos and I will see you guys soon.